Hi, Sue. Hi, Hank. How are you today? I'm okay. So um, I'm in a Bible study currently, and we're studying the armor of God. And part of it deals with how Satan lies and deceives and influences us. Yes. And my question is, as a sealed believer, what can Satan actually do to, to directly influence our thoughts? Well, first of all, our enemy is the world, the flesh, and the devil. Uh, and it is not our job to figure out where our temptation lies, whether it is a temptation that comes from the world, the flesh, or the devil. But as I've written in a book called The Covering, God's Plan to Protect You from Evil, Satan does, as it were, sit on our shoulder and whisper into our ear. Uh, the whisper cannot be heard with the physical ear, but it can penetrate the ear of the mind. And therefore, we're instructed by the Apostle Paul in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 20, to put on the whole armor of God so that we can take our stand against principalities and powers of darkness. Uh, the real issue is if we put on the full armor of God, we're invincible in spiritual warfare. If we do not, well, then we're guaranteed casualties. So even though we are sealed in the Holy Spirit, he can still have an influence in our mind? Oh, absolutely. There's no question whatsoever that Satan cannot possess us because we're possessed by the Holy Spirit. And I think that's the implication of what you're saying, and rightly so. Nonetheless, we are tempted every single day. I mean, we can be tempted by the world, right? The things of the world. Instead of ordering our lives around the divine, we end up ordering our lives around the temporal. So we can uh, face temptation from the world. We can face temptation uh, from the flesh. Our, our, our stomach, for example, can become our God. Or we can have sexual temptations, all kinds of temptations. And in the same way, we have an enemy, the devil. And I will tell you, uh, without any equivocation, without any qualification, having lived on this planet quite a long time, uh, that the spiritual warfare that is part of why we put on uh, the covering or the full armor of God is as real as can be. Satan is not physical, but he is real, and he can tempt us.